Hello everyone, my name is Richie Wang and I'm from Smart Lab at Purdue University. Today I'm glad to introduce our paper entitled Initial Test Allocation for Multi-Human, Multi-Robot Teams with Attention-Based Deep Reinforcement Learning. Let's start with the background part. Multi-Human, Multi-Robot Teams or MHMR Teams are emerging as promising solutions to complex and large-scale tasks such as environmental monitoring, disaster response, and military operations. The collaboration of multiple humans and robots with diverse capabilities and expertise involved in an MHMR team presents great potential to enhance the team performance and adaptation abilities. An MHMR team is highly heterogeneous in nature for the significant differences among the human agents and the robots in terms of their capabilities and skills. For example, as shown in the below figures, a human in the team can have different levels of fatigue resilience operational skills, and situational awareness. Also, each robot in the team may have differences in terms of mobility, such as speed, and also sensor capabilities, and so on. Therefore, initial test allocation that considers this heterogeneity to ensure that individuals are assigned tasks that match their different abilities and skill set from the outside is crucial to fully realize the potential of an MHMR team. However, most existing works only focus on in-process test reallocation, which utilize human and robot states as well as text performance metrics as indicators, and often overlook the initial test allocation that considers individual differences of humans, robots, and texts in the beginning. While some recent studies have profit models to simulate the heterogeneity of MHMR teams, they didn't provide any optimization method for initial test allocation. Therefore, to fill this gap, in this work, we conduct pioneering research to investigate the initial test allocation problem in MHMR teams and provide a general problem formulation of the contextual multi-attribute decision-making process, namely CMADP. To address the changes associated with the CMADP, we propose a novel learning-based framework with a cross-attribute attention representation learning module to adaptively capture the latent dependencies in the multi-attribute context. Now, I will introduce our approach starting with the CMADP problem formulation. The CMADP involves devising an initial test allocation action in response to a multi attribute context that presents the inherent heterogeneity of the team, namely human factors and robot characteristics, and the unique specifications of tasks, namely text attributes. However, finding the optimal decision for initial test allocation is challenging. The decision is not solely driven by diverse attributes and sub-attributes, but rather by the latent dependencies and interactions across them. To solve the CMADP, we propose an attention-based reinforcement learning approach, namely ATRL. As illustrated in this figure, the input of our model is a multi-attribute context, including embeddings of human factors, robot characteristics, and test specifications. And the output of our model is an initial test allocation policy that decides the optimal test distribution among the MHMR team in the beginning. At the core of our model is a cross attribute attention based data representation learning module. Specifically, as shown in this figure, cross attribute attention layers adaptively capture the latent dependencies across different attributes, continuously enhancing features within one certain attribute with strongly relevant information from the other two. Now let's move to our case study and experiments. We use a gamma-based simulation environment to conduct a case study, applying and validating our proposed ATRL in a large-scale threat surveillance test scenario. In the detailed scenario, the satellite system firstly generates a list of points of interest in a 2km times 2km area, which requires closer monitoring by an MHMR team. The MHMR team is texted with two duties. Robots need to navigate to each POI and take images of threat and human experts need to analyze the capture images to identify if a POI presents a real threat or not. For human factors, we consider individual differences in cognitive ability and operational skill level. For robot characteristics, we consider mobility and susceptibility as manifested in two main robot types, UAVs and UGVs. As shown in this figure, UAVs have a faster speed but may obtain lower image quality. While UGVs move slower, they can provide a detailed ground-level view. Also, for the text attributes, we consider the differences in the location and the threat classification difficulty of each POI. And here are specific tasks to be assigned to robots and the humans. We compare our ATRL with two baselines, average location and random location. We also build a variation model called RL, which removes the cost attribute attention module in ATRL. As shown in below figures, we can observe that ATRL can outperform all baselines. It can learn efficient initial test allocation decisions, leading to better team performance.